Hey guys, Crafty here from Living in Beta, and in today's video we'll be exploring the possibility of creating your own menagerie in Cyberpunk 2077. As most of you may already know, since the game's release there's been a pet cat named Nibbles that you can acquire to live in V's apartment. In this video we shall shed some light on how to do so. But that is not all, with patch 1.5 dropping, CD Projekt Red decided to spice it up and have gone ahead and added in a second obtainable companion, in the form of your very own Jackie inspired Iguana. Once covering both of these, we should also showcase some neat little interactions that both pets have together, which really adds to the overall atmosphere of those quiet nights alone gazing out over Night City as you contemplate what life would be like without Mr. Johnny. Anyways, this is a fun one, and one of those little touches that really adds to the game as a whole. So without further ado, let's create a zoo. first pet we're going to uncover today is Nibbles. This funky little feline has been obtainable since the early days of Cyberpunk's release. You can find the starting breadcrumb of this secret quest a stone's throw from V's apartment. A quick disclaimer at this point, you need to have completed the quest playing for time, which then triggers all available things to be unlocked in Act 2. If you do not do this, and be like me, avoiding Takamura like the plague, you'll not be able to partake in any of the delights that Act 2 has to offer. Starting at the fast travel point, follow the corridor down past V's apartment door and take a right. On the floor, you'll see a small little bowl and to its right, a message named Feed Te Cat. A great nod to those of us out there who struggle with brain typing and sending before we even realize what we have said. The message is simple. It gives you the details on what Nibbles eats and how to make it extra special, along with the classic cat noises you need to make to get them to come running. From here, the task is simple, we need to find ourselves some cat food. Now of course you can just have some on your person and skip these tips super fast. If that is the case, great work. But if you're short of any cat name munchies then there are a couple of ways we can get our hands on them. First, you of course can visit any food vendor to purchase yourself some delicious treats. This method is a little intermittent as not every rest restaurateur wants to dabble in the delights of pet food. Secondly, and more simple of the two, you can head over to the Grand Imperial Mall Fast travel point, housed in beautiful Pacifica. Once you arrive, you'll want to look left and focus on the big Ferris wheel you can see in the distance. Head towards it and you'll stumble upon a holding area. In this area, there'll be some numbered garages and we are specifically looking for garage number five. Outside the front of this garage on the right, you'll find some delicious cat food sitting there, just waiting for you to pick it up. Take a look around, make sure no one's watching and steal it for yourself. We have our own potential cat to think about. After sneaking off with the food, you'll need to head back to the ominous bowl near V's apartment. As you arrive, you'll notice a conveniently placed hand icon above the bowl, ushering you to place the food inside. In doing so, you would expect a cat to appear out of nowhere and live happily ever after, but no, the plot thickens. From here, you want to back off from the bowl far enough for you not to be able to smell it anymore, wait 24 hours and return. Upon your arrival, you'll notice Nibbles chowing down on the catty goodness, and Johnny watching over his shoulder as they do so. Take in the tingly feeling scene and then approach Nibbles, you'll be prompted to pick him up. A cutscene is triggered and you'll be teleported to the future where you and Johnny own a cat and use your unwashed clothes as a bed. That essentially is the quest complete. They have added a few cool places for Nibbles to be found in your apartment in patch 1.3. So visit once in a while, and check them out. Some pretty cool ones out there, especially the shower, it's always a giggle. Next up is the new addition to the crew, our very own pet Iguana. Long term players of Cyberpunk will know that this is a nod to the happenings in the Nomad Life Path intro, where you and our good friend Jackie are tasked with trafficking some stolen cargo over the border into Night City. After an altercation with some corpo Arasaka scum, we come to realise that the cargo we are carrying is actually an Iguana, which is well worth it if you ask me. Fast forward to the end of Act 1. You and Jackie are partaking in the mission of all missions to cement yourself in afterlife's history by performing a heist on Arasaka themselves. It is here where the first steps of the Iguana journey begins. When you enter Yorinobu Arasaka's Kompeki Plaza penthouse suite, look to your left and you'll notice a big trunk of sorts. Head over to it and sat at its base is a very inconspicuous Iguana egg. Pick this up, store it in some sort of area where it won't get cracked and get on with the remainder of the mission. Also a quick disclaimer here, 
Do not forget to head into the bedroom and pick up the rare iconic pistol named Kongao. This is one of the best pistols in the game and will last you a very long time, especially if you've got a pistol build. Alongside this, if you wait for T-Bug to open the door, you can also do a quick switcheroo and head to the helipad, grabbing the rare iconic blade named Satori in the process. Another super powerful weapon, just begging to be nabbed with so much crit. These are both unobtainable outside of glitch slash exploits, so why not pick them up legitimately now? Once Act 1 is over and you are free to explore the big wide world in Act 2, you need to then head back to V's main apartment in Watson, making sure you hit up Takamura in the quest playing for time before doing so, of course as we mentioned before. When you enter, you'll notice a hand icon appear above the food covered bowl on a little tray. Interact with it, placing the iguana egg inside, triggering Johnny to have a few words and nibbles to judge you from afar. After this, it is simply a waiting game, approximately 100 in-game days or so before the egg actually hatches. You can either continue life whilst you wait, or you can be a mad person and sit outside your apartment fast forwarding 100 days like me. One eternity later. Once the time limit has been reached, you can return to your apartment and witness the iguana, now fully grown, sitting on the same food tray that you'd laid the egg to rest on. Johnny will pop up with various voice lines and you can pet the iguana until your heart's content. Iguana achieved. So there it is, your very own menagerie of unique cyberpunk pets. As time goes on, your returns to the apartment will become even more joyous with both Nibbles and Jackie Jr. having their own unique interactions with each other. Most notably the beanbag banter which has them catching some disease together. It's also important to mention though that currently as of patch 1.5, these pets can only stay in V's main apartment. Hopefully this will be something that changes in the future, but for now it is still a very solid addition and another great secret placed in the world by CD Projekt Red to make the game feel even more alive. But for now, we'll leave it there. As always, we want to thank you for watching, like the video if you found it useful, share with your friends and family, subscribe for more content like this one, and remember... Don't be a gong.